Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss the factors which affects the disk performance such as seek time, rotational latency, full stroke time, controller overhead, queuing delay, disk access time. All these concepts I will discuss one by one in detail for you. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. To know the factors such as seek time, rotational latency, etc you should know the magnetic disk architecture. Let me give an overview about the magnetic disk architecture for you. A magnetic disk is a collection of platters, okay? And each platter is of same size and same capacity. Don't get confusion with my diagram, okay? Each platter is connected using one spindle, okay? And each platter will have two surfaces. One is the top surface and another one is the bottom surface. In this example, we have considered the four platters, so totally eight surfaces will be there. And each surface will have the read-write header. The purpose of the read-write header is to read the information from the disk or write the information into the disk. And one important point about the read-write header is it can go forward direction or backward direction only. Is it clear? Now, each platter is further divided into tracks and each track is further divided into sectors. So if the read write header has to read the information or write the information into the disk, it has to go to the corresponding sector. So first you need to identify the platter, then the disk controller has to identify the surface and then the track, then the sector to do the disk access. Is it clear? So the disk access is the summation of seek time, rotational latency, control overhead, queuing delay and data transfer. All these concepts I will discuss one by one for you. First let me discuss the seek time. The time taken by the read write header to move to the desired track is called seek time. Now let me give an overview for you. Okay. Let me draw one platter. As I said earlier, one platter is a collection of tracks. Okay. Is it clear? Now, let's assume that read write header is at the zeroth track or at the first track or zeroth track anywhere. It is there at the zeroth track. Now, it want to go to the third track. Is it clear? Already I said that read write header can go forward direction or backward direction. Now the seek time is the time taken by the read write header to move from zero track to the third track. How much time it will be taken that one we will call it as a seek time. So it is nothing but to reach the desired track from the current track is called seek time. The seek time plays a major role on the disk performance. So that's why we have various disk scheduling algorithms such as first come first serve, shortest seek time first, scan, see scan, look, see look. Their objective is to minimize the seek time to serve the request. Okay, is it clear? Now, sometimes they will give you the seek time in numerical questions. If they does not give you the seek time, if they give you a full stroke time, how can you compute the seek time also I will discuss. Before discussing that one, first let me discuss what is a full stroke time. It is the time taken by the read write header to move across the innermost track to outermost track or vice versa. Let's take that the innermost track is track number 10. Now the time taken by the read write header from the outermost track to the innermost track or from innermost track to the outermost track, how much time it will be taken. That time we will call it as a full stroke time. Then if someone asks you the average seek time, the average seek time is equal to average seek time is equal to one third of full stroke time. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? So I hope you have understood the relation between the full stroke time and the average seek time. Is it clear? Now let me discuss about the full rotational time and rotational latency. First let me discuss full rotational time. Now already I said that we have a platter using that spindle, this, 
disc will rotate means this platter will rotate am i right and the read write head will be there here only and it can go forward direction and move direction so now this platter to rotate 360 degrees how much time it will take that one we will call it as full rotational time usually they will give you as in terms of rpm 3000 rpm or 2000 rpm is it clear okay now let me discuss about the rotational latency i already said that data transfer either read operation or write operation will be done from the particular sector now the seek time is nothing but to go to the corresponding track from the corresponding track the read write head has to reach to the corresponding sector am i right so the time taken by the read write header to reach the desired sector we will call it as rotational latency okay the rotational latency is defined as the time taken by the read write header to move to the desired sector is it clear so if they does not give the rotational latency if they give you the full rotation time you can compute the half of the full rotational time full rotational time is the rotational latency is it clear i hope you have understood now let me discuss the next parameter which is control overhead now all these things will be done by what this controller okay the overhead imposed by the disk controller is called control overhead or controller overhead there is a disk controller which will control the entire disk the overhead imposed by the disk controller is called as controller overhead usually they gives in the numerical questions if they does not give you can consider it as zero okay similarly queuing delay the time spent on waiting for the disk to become free is called queuing delay is it clear are you able to understand similarly the queuing delay if they give you you can consider it otherwise you can take the value as zero now the next important parameter is data transfer time <coughs> data transfer time because either read operation or write operation we are transferring the data from disk to memory or memory to disk all these things okay are you able to understand or even from the io devices also now the disk tra data transfer time will depend on how much data transfer you are doing okay whether it is 200 mb or 300 mb how much data you are transferring by data transfer rate are you able to understand at what rate you are transferring and how much data you want to transfer will give you the data transfer rate so data transfer time is equal to total data transfer or the amount of data transfer by data transfer rate okay now another important parameter is disk access time okay the disk access time can be computed as seek time plus rotational latency plus control overhead plus queuing delay plus data transfer time is it clear so the disk access time is equal to summation of seek time plus rotation latency controller overhead queuing delay plus data transfer time is it clear i hope you have understood all the parameters if you still have any doubts related to any parameter feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day